Yo, what's up guys? Back again with me, Mato. Today video, I'll be showing you guys the process I made of original design like this. It's design made for clothing brand or maybe for a band cover album, I guess. And hopefully, after watching this video, you can get some inspiration or idea into your own work. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, I create new document and let's start with 3000 by 3000 pixels with resolution 300 and I call it T-shirt design. I grab all the image that I have prepared before. If you wondering where I get this asset, I put the link in the description so you can have it too. Alright, I will focus on the school head image and what I'm going to do is rotate the school head vertically and duplicate it and mirroring the other side so it looks like a love symbol and I think I started this with a cool idea so let's dive in Okay, now I'm gonna make a deal with the RAM school image and trying to find the fit position for it. I want it to look pops up with a school head image and finally use the perspective transform tool to make it look unified and become realistic approach. I really hope that this works so let's see. Now everything looks realistic in terms of size. So moving on the color and contrast correction, I start with change the image adjustment with desaturate and play with the curve tool by making the design look stronger in contrast. And then I'll move on the gradient map to play with the overall aesthetic and vibes of the design. I play with three color of it. I pick my black color to contrast and red color to mid light and bright yellow to my highlight. Lastly, I copy and apply a color preset to sum it all up. Ok guys, to make this design more live, I'm at the shadow with the whole image. As usual, I create a new layer and apply it using a regular soft brush and paint it all over which is upside the light source and play with blend mode to get soft and smooth shadow. Not too much exposure of it, just to give a little touch. Let's go! So now I realize the horn of ram school colors looks too flat if I were to match to the overall design. My solution to that is I'm going to bring back the natural colors of the horns and duplicate the gradient map preset which I have made before and remove all colors except the horns and change more brighter colors so it looks more standout. If you are new here, please check my other video on how to make cool street dress design 
for your own clothing and leave some comment if you want to deep dive into know any tips or trick that I use to create short design like this. So let's go. Alright guys, now I'm put a 3D wire sign or whatever you call this section here and adding rusty texture overlay and give the same color presets as the previous image. I also add a shadow to make it more live and blend it with the main image and I think it will be a cool touch to overall design before I move on to the next step. Okay, after all image are in position I want, now I'm add a highlight with the whole image to make it more stunning. To create a highlight is the opposite of how to make a shadow. In this case, I pick my bright yellow color, which is more lighter than the highlight color preset on the gradient map. I just focus on the brighter area and paint it all over. It's the same technique as making the shadow section. Uh, be careful guys, not too much of it, just to give a little touch. Let's go. Right now to make the colors pop and unified, I play with the blend mode and the opacity. Lastly, I load up my camera raw filter and apply a color preset to zoom it all up and give some noise texture of it to get extra contrast to the whole design. Move on to the next step, I pick my text tool, I want to more simple design, just using a default and self face on my stuff. I add the title for the design which is primitive distortion and try to make a quick and simple logo with this, just grab the letter from the sentence, but you know sometimes simplicity is all you need, let's go. Ok, after I've got perfect adjustment to the design, and yeah, I'm quite so happy with it, considering this design will be applied into the black shirt, so let's put it into the black shirt mockup. 
Let's go. Alright guys, so that is for today's video. I hope you learned something from it and got a play that your own quoting brand. Anyways guys, subscribe and like to this channel if you haven't yet. I'll be uploading more of them now. You definitely don't want to miss out. Thanks for watching my video and I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.